What is going on, everybody? So, I uh, just got the new Steeda shift collar in. I went with the uh, just the regular aluminum or billet aluminum one. It's actually lighter than I was expecting it to be, and it looks really nice compared to try to get a good view of the factory one. This one just made better. This is more for looks. Um, we're going to go ahead and install it today and see how it goes. Now the first thing that you want to do is uh, make sure the car the car is in neutral. Just get a hold of your shift knob and turn it. It takes a little bit, but you'll want to remove the shift knob first before you can go do any other step. All right, now the next thing that you want to do is get a hold of the trim right here and just carefully pull up. You'll hear those, the clips breaking free. It's not a nice sound. Okay, I'm gonna recommend just going, working your, get it started on one side and work your way around. I'm gonna have to use two hands for this so I won't be able to film it. Now, since I do have the Steeder, Steeda <laughs> Triac short throw shifter, what I'm gonna have to do is undo, there's three of these. I'm just gonna have to loosen those up so that the uh, shift collar will slide off. If you have the stock shifter, it'll be tabs that you pull back and just work your way around while pulling up the uh, shift boot. All right, guys. So the next step is going to be uh, prying the glue. There will be like little indentions right here where each one of these yellow dots are. You want to pry the glue up from that. Once you get the group glue pried up, you'll just take and just kind of work, get the edge right here while holding the uh, actual shift collar right here and just pry it up. And what will happen you can grab the shift collar from inside and just pull it out. All right, so the next step, you do have to essentially pry the boot out of the, the black ring that's left behind, but it didn't tear anything. Just be careful when doing it. What we'll do now is take uh, a knife or a razor blade, something sharp, and we're going to work from side to side, removing one stitch at a time until we can flip this inside out and be able to push this part of the collar through to where the shift boot sits in this ridge right here. Stitch by stitch, just enough so you can work the material around the uh, shift collar. So now what we'll do is we're going to take the provided zip tie and just... Uh, Wrap this around where the shift boot sits inside the little ridge, nice and tight so that it can't separate. All right, so once you get the shift collar in place, you'll attach the zip tie. Now I pulled the, the material up to where the last stitch that I removed is at least on the edge because if you do it uh, if you put the edge of the shift boot material on there and you flip it through, it does kind of have a, uh, you do kind of see where you split the seam. So I pulled it up, up a little bit more and any excess of the material, I just trimmed it off. So do that and apply the zip collar or the zip tie. Then the last step is if you see the black O-ring in there, that is separate. There's a groove that that slides into and you want to install that. Once you get that in place, you're ready to reinstall your shift boot. All right guys, so when doing this, I did make a mistake with the zip tie. The way that I did the zip tie is I wrapped it around like this to where the rounded edge was on the inside 
Because I'm used to the zip ties where uh, this is, I believe, always been on the outside. By the time I found out this was wrong, it was too late. So just make sure when you apply the zip tie, you apply it where this round part is going to be against the collar. That way it sits smooth because if you do it the other way, it will not sit in the actual reverse collar. So you won't be able to uh, properly reinstall the shift boot. Make sure and be careful because I had to order these offline and just kind of make this do a make sh make this work until I could get these in. I finally got them in, installed it the right way, and it worked. But after you get the zip tie, you get the O-ring in place. Just slide the collar back over the uh, the actual shifting rod. If you have the Steeda Triax shifter, tighten your screws to where this is centered around the. Uh, the shifter rod or if you have the stock shifter still it just snaps into place snap the trim back into place lock tight your your shift knob back down doing that put the shifter in reverse and then just tighten your shifter until you feel it until you get it real tight and then back it out uh, at least a turn to the point of getting the numbers right or the shift pattern right and that should be good pull it off and double check it everything works once you do that you're done and good to go if y'all have any questions feel free to comment below y'all take care have a great day